Cryptocurrencies traditionally are very, very volatile because of the underlying economics that are programmed in to these different blockchains. A stable coin is a cryptocurrency that's designed to remain stable. Two thirds of stable coins are now designed to track the US dollar. And this is a natural first step for this new realm of the industry. $3 billion total market cap for stable coins is a lot in a certain way, in that it proves that there's a need for stable coins in the marketplace today. But it's only a tiny fraction of what we will probably see because stable cryptocurrency can take over the role of money in many, many parts of our economy. There are different ways to create this stability. An easy one to understand that's the most common today is what's called an asset-backed coin. And that is where you take a dollar into your account, you put it in the vault, and then you issue a cryptographic token against that. If you go into a certain casino on the Vegas Strip, you're gonna get their chip, you can use it in there, and then you can cash it out when you leave. And that's sort of the idea that's most dominant right now. And then there's another wave of stable coins coming that are called algorithmic stable coins. Those use mathematics and market forces to maintain their stability over time, as opposed to backing one-to-one -one with some other asset like a US dollar. These are a little bit riskier at this point in time because the technology is not totally proven, but they also uh, operate like robotic federal reserves. So they will actually mint their own money and adjust their own money supply based on the demand for the coin and the price in the marketplace. Venezuela um, and some other countries around the world, there's some hyperinflation going on. If you live in some of these countries, you're wed to that particular fiat currency because you have to pay your taxes in it and so on. So you could have access to a more global currency that is free from some of the manipulation or troubles that your local fiat currency might have. But also when you think of things like remittances where people are working abroad, sending money back home to their families overseas, they can end up paying very high fees, wait all afternoon, let's say on Saturday, to send their money back to their families. Family. We can get rid of that hassle, we can get rid of the expense. This algorithmic or decentralized opportunity is very important because it really fulfills the promise of the original Satoshi white paper, and that is to have an unmediated ability to transact with people around the globe without fear for chargebacks or needing some third party to validate that other person uh, so that the transaction can go through. And this is very, very important because it opens up a lot of um, access to the economy for people around the globe.